Six acts of violence in just more than a week in Greensboro have sent nine different people to the hospital. It's troubling, it's heartbreaking, and it's causing a lot of people to ask, is it even safe to go out and do anything anymore? Good evening, welcome. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordeen. Local law enforcement says it is typical to see more violent crimes as it gets warmer outside, but people in the community say all these recent events feel too close for comfort. Fox 8's Madison Forsey joins us live in Greensboro to detail the violence and share what people have to say. Yeah, here along Gate City Boulevard is just one of the places where violence spilled out over the weekend. I talked to people who say there's crime in every city and Greensboro is no different, but they want to see some concrete answers from leaders for a city they love. It's a sad, sad, sad situation. A business, a home, and a busy street, all settings for violence in Greensboro. Does it worry me? It does. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie that it's not like a bad thing. We should never, like, resort to violence. People in the triad tell us at this point it's faded into the background of their everyday lives. My grandmother's been in Greensboro for a long time, so she'll, um, you know, when something happens, she'll text me. But it's getting closer to everyone. On April 22nd, a drive-by shooting on Interstate 40 between Freeman Mill Road and Randleman Road left two hurt, an area that sees thousands of cars every day. Then at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, officers found one gunshot victim here on Avalon Road. The next day across town, an aggravated assault along Maywood. I'm inside the house. I just heard maybe 20 shots and there's people running everywhere. Then violence spilled from residential streets on Friday onto one of the busiest roads in the city, Westgate City Boulevard during rush hour. I'm on Florida Street and a car just got shot up. The car's full of bullet holes and I just heard gunshots. This is what the scene looked like on Friday night as officers combed the area between Florida Street and Gate City for hours. But I was outside walking my dog in the apartment complex and like right behind us on Randall Road we heard like gun multiple gunshots. The next night, two people hurt in this parking lot on Randall Road. Road. Someone just got shot. She's right here in the parking lot and she's bleeding. She shot at her back. Then the violence moved north in the city outside Golden Sun's Tavern. A worker there tells Fox 8 the shooting started after a fight. People who live in the city say we need more from our elected leaders and our police officers. They just got to be out here. They don't know what's happening out here. More uh, cops in the area. Something to con kind of control that crime. We reached out to the Greensboro Police Department to get a little bit more information about those incidents and if they are planning any way to address the rise in crime. A spokesperson for the department said they were not able to make our request happen today. In Greensboro, Madison 4C, Fox 8 News.